up everybody, welcome to Hammer Down Motorsports. My name is Steve Fast, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. We are in the hotel in Benson, North Carolina. We are here for the Anything Goes Race event. We have the trailer, we have the car here. We did end up bringing the half ton because the diesel was having some DEF issues, but we avoided that early on in the trip, so I was able to go home and swap out the trucks, but we're gonna go bug Nick right now. We got Send It Steve here, we got Andy from DFRs here, we got It's Just a Six here, we got all kinds of other people that are coming to this event. It's gonna be absolutely awesome, so Definitely gonna be going and taking you guys around for the event and the things that are gonna be happening. It's gonna be awesome, so definitely stay tuned. Remember where our keys go together? Stay inside. <laughs> Long distance haul. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? <laughs> What's up, dude? How you doing? All right. Well, everybody, we are here at Galat Motor Speedway. It is super hot. It's about 97 degrees. We've been in the sun all day. They've been taking the prep off the track because it's actually a no prep event today. So we will be taking the Camaro down the track. Slicks are back on. I did a little bit of a burnout earlier just to kind of get all the dirt and everything off of them so we don't drag that over to the starting line. But the car is ready to go, and we're hoping for the best. the next run it's always tricky when you're trying to get that clutch in pull that stick back as fast as possible get that clutch back out again sometimes if you're just a little bit too quick won't let you in so I mean it's just how it goes sometimes all right so first run is down we have set it Steve over here who has made a pool in the back of his truck which is a great idea other than the fact that I didn't bring my trunks how's the pool Awesome. Looks like a good time. <laughs> but either way, might have to go in there later. We'll see. See if we get more people in there. But we do have the Camaro over here. We did one run, as you guys saw. Didn't go exactly the way I wanted to, but that was just a practice run, so not really a big deal. And we are going to be racing Andy over here with this very slow looking Firebird. What do you think? Very, very slow. So he's so gonna slow guys. He's gonna turn it all the way up just so he has a chance against the Camaro. Oh. So yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. John Doc said I can I can leave it where it is, and I can live my life. All right, sounds good. Take the T-tops off. What? Take the T-tops off. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. All right, Andy's getting ready. We're gonna make our first pass, just for fun this time. See what's up. Yeah, just see how the car reacts. second gear so we gotta stop getting so excited I don't know what it is with this transmission grabbing second sometimes it just it feels like it just doesn't want to go in it's almost like it locks you out when you're going real fast trying to get that clutch in get that gear shifted at the same time but I don't know I guess we're just gonna have to run another pass and just kind of see how it does so Steve how's your day going today how'd it do uh, I missed second gear missed second. still got an 8-0 can't beat that it's all right yeah. It'll be better if I get all my gears next time. Yeah, definitely. But so, how the pool build go? It's holding up. It's yeah, holding up. definitely yeah. Uh, some engineering going on here. Yeah. Well, I was filling it and it got about like halfway. Yeah. And the whole inside, like the walls were just falling, and I was like, oh no! And I was by myself, so I was like, Shh. painters tape the whole way around. That <laughs> yeah, works. Yeah. A little redneck engineering. A little hillbilly. Yeah. Oh well, America. So I brought the car over here, got my fan on it, get this thing cooled down a little bit before our next run, which will probably be against Andy. So I think Steve is actually moving the truck with the pool with people in it. Interesting. So over here at Nick's trailer, we got Jackson. Jackson has a pool that I don't think he's used. Is it hot enough for you? 
this is maybe like comparable to Camaro bus. Yeah, I think it's actually a little hotter than Camaro. It seems hotter. I don't know. Maybe we're just not used to it. But either way, very, very hot out here in North Carolina. We're melting, but we'll make it, I think, I hope. And the sun is going down pretty soon, so hopefully we'll get some a little bit cooler air temperatures and the track cool down a little bit and maybe we can get some good runs in, hopefully. So I think this might be the aftermath of Send It Steve's pool. I don't see the truck anywhere, but it kind of looks like it may have gotten dumped. So another time pass and yeah. Still not hitting that second gear. I don't know what's going on. We're gonna have to just really take a little bit more time to get that one into gear. But you get excited and you just wanna get it in there as fast as possible. And that's what we have going on right now. But let's check in with Andy. Andy's got his hand on his head. This doesn't look good. So what happened? Two step was activated. Oh. Like I launched off the line, the two step was low. I had it set 45. Then it launched, but it balled. So I know it's too low, so I had to change it regardless. And then when I went, I got like five grand and went to the red one. Oh. I'm like, you did that shit to support me on the dyno. Did my wing look nice as I went by you? Oh, we're gonna go again. Don't <laughs> as planned either I'm not really having exactly a very good racing day today it's so hot and as much as you don't think it affects you it does I forgot to turn off my traction control and ended up doing two pathetic burnouts and then did one that was semi okay and yeah it works a whole lot better when you turn your traction control off there you go, thanks sir need a water oh uh, sure if you got one thanks sir really too impressed with the performance of what I've been doing most of it's all my fault I'm just getting up to the line and not doing what I'm supposed to do because this is the first event that I've raced this year and I was hoping to do a whole lot better than what I've been doing but that's just kind of how it goes sometimes you just gotta get out there get the practice in and get the seat time get back into the groove of all this kind of stuff and then you're good to go all right so fourth run I'm gonna see if I can hit second this time I don't know if something's going on with the car or what's what's happening here, but either way, let's try this again. tried to quick shift it it probably wouldn't have done it but it did go in gave it a little extra time just kind of taking a minute to relax and I think we're doing okay at least I'm, I'm happier with that round I was starting to get pretty irritated that I wasn't doing what I needed to do it's all driver error stuff and sometimes you have days like this especially the first event of the season but either way we got down the track I shifted all the gears Let's see what our time is. I don't think it's gonna to be too, too impressive, but I just wanted to get that cleared up that at least I'm hitting all the gears. And I guess what we got, what we got. So Steve, is a good event? It is. The truck looks like it saw a little bit of action. Oh yeah. Oh, There's just, a little bit of painter's tape left there we, from the we, pool. Yeah, the pool's still in there. A little bit of mud. You had a pool in the back. Of the <laughs> yeah, truck. yesterday I had a pool in the back. God. See, Steve usually <laughs> finds the hole that will get this truck stuck. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> yeah. I found it. I wish I had the footage from that. Yeah. yeah. We, we <laughs> definitely check out right his channel in, for that. We definitely put it right in the crib. Yeah. It was pretty bad. And these tires, once they are buried, they're yeah. a little, little tricky to get out. Most of the weight is up front, and that's what went down in. Yeah. So then to try to pull the weight back out, it couldn't do it. No. If I was like, oh, your tires are on the pavement, it should have done it. Like, so as you can see. Nope, there's too much weight in the front. We got this tire completely full of mud. Mirrors covered, fender, front bumper. This is what you can expect from Senate Steve. 
Well, everybody, it is the next day, and it is a nice day for racing. It is super hot out, though. The track temps are really hot. I did have the car out just to kind of rip around a little bit, went back and forth to town a few times on the drag slicks and with the vanity plate on, so no cops caught me, so I guess I was okay, but either way, the car is back in the trailer, and we're not gonna be doing any more runs today because I basically had to make a call. I'm going to power tour in probably two weeks or so, and I don't really want to break anything on the car doing eighth mile and just basically that's kind of what it came down to I want to go get the tune adjusted as well There's some issues. I need to do plugs in it and things like that These kind of feel like they're fouled out and I just don't really want to run the car when I think something might be up with it Just in case it costs me something more in the end, but either way car is back in the trailer I hope you guys enjoyed the footage that we did get from yesterday's racing if you guys enjoyed this video Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and as always keep that hammer down